As requested, I put together a quick video, very quick, for how I lifted my boat off my trailer to bottom paint. Bear with me, I recycled some old footage, so if things look a little wonky or out of order, I just basically cut and pasted uh, from the previous video that I had, and I used some video that I didn't use in the first place. But hopefully this helps out. Um, if anybody has any other questions, feel free to reach out and I'll see if I can answer them. But overall, it's a pretty easy process. So the first step is to get on a level surface and mount the trailer to the car, and this is just for stability purposes. Second step is to create your cradle that your boat is gonna sit on. The cradle needs to be one piece so that it'll basically hold together as you put your boat weight in it. Underneath it's going to be just the 4x4, so this is a pretty important piece here. Next step is to start jacking up your trailer. All I'm using here is a bottle jack with some jack stands, and you just go little by little. I'm also using my 4x4 cribbing on the back of the trailer just in case the jack stand or a bottle jack gives out but just do a little bit at a time one side at a time and lift it up as high as you can so next step now that your boat and trailer is lifted up as high as you can get it start placing your cribbing underneath the boat with your cradle on top so as you see here I'm using 4 by 4s for the most part for my cribbing and then I have the cradle on top I use 2x6s on top of the cradle so I don't create any pressure points on the hull. That's important because once you put all your weight of the boat down on the cribbing, you don't want to puncture your hull. So I don't have great footage for bringing the trailer down, but all you do next is lower your trailer the same way that you lifted it and with the cribbing underneath the boat, the boat will stay on top of your cribbing and your trailer will drop. And you can see here from this photo or video uh, that you create a good amount of separation between your trailer and boat at this point. Um, you don't have to drop it down too far. You don't need too much room. You just need enough room to sand and get your roller underneath it. So at this point, once you're done painting, once everything's dry, make sure to give it enough time to dry. Just reverse the steps uh, to get your boat back on the trailer, and that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously, there's uh, some other ways that you can tweak this process uh, to fit whatever you need or to probably improve upon it. This is uh, really the only time I, I went through this process, so there could be ways to improve. But it worked for me, it was pretty easy. It seemed pretty safe too. Uh, so, uh, if, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know.